building blocks to gospel chops. Number three. If you haven't guessed it, I'm talking about paradiddles. Now, this necessarily isn't a gospel chop, but it's like a gospel fusion chop, all right? It's a, it's a Vinnie Caliuta, uh, Steve Gadd type deal, all right? And the foundation of the whole vibe of it is the paradiddle, all right? And you build on the paradiddle with, you know, different strokes, six stroke rows and, and combinations between the hands and the feet and throwing all type of stuff in there, all right? So let's get into this paradiddle. This paradiddle is cold blooded. If you're not familiar with the paradiddle, get familiar with the paradiddle. It is, as I said, cold blooded. All right, so. Starting off with a solid groove, because if you don't have a solid groove, then you're just making noise. All right, so start off with the groove, and we're going to go into the single paradiddle. For those of you out there who don't know what the paradiddle is, it's simply paradiddle, paradiddle. All right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, all right? All right, real easy. Again, dynamics. Very, very important. Paramount. Very important. Dynamics. Got to have them, all right? Groove, dynamics, start off with the paradiddle. Here we go. Did you see it? Paradiddle. Paradiddle is a groove in itself, you know what I mean? But paradiddle, all right? So that's the single paradiddle, right? Now, let's go double paradiddle on it, right? Double, one, two, one, two, diddle. Alright, it's just doing double. Right? So, here we go. Double paradiddle in there, all right? Real groovy, all right? Now, we got this other one. What you're going to do is you're going to do a single paradiddle and throw a diddle on the kick drum, all right? Got it? All 
All right. Now you're going to keep it flowing. You're not going to break it. All right. So it comes up to, uh, you know, like a, 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 it's a six, six strokes in there, but we're playing it over four. So it feels kind of odd. All right, that's the groovy one right there. That's kind of, you know, cats look at you like, man, that's, man, he's sweet. That boy know what he doing. All right, so throw that one in there. Very crucial how you come out of it, all right? You got to make sure you land on a one. You know, come out with just a simple single stroke roll around the toms or something or just some singles off of the snare. I'm doing just baga bean coming off of it. It's actually doo-doo baga bean, all right? To be uh, uh, technical, doo-doo baga bean. All right, so that, that's the building block. All right, so you, you, you're playing your groove, and you, you, you're getting groovy, and you want to throw something real saucy in there. Just throw those paradiddles. All right, now, a couple of cool little things that you can do while you, you know, making this lick happen. When you hit the hi-hat, go ahead and play the kick with the hi-hat. Or the Philly guys, big ups to Spanky and... And Frazier and all those guys, man. The Philly guys, they like to play the kick and the snare at the same time. So you get this kind of deal. Which is crazy. Sounds amazing when, you, when you're when getting it going, right? So, that same thing, maybe playing the kick and the hi-hat at the same time or the kick and the snare at the same time, all right? Sounds like this. Man, that's it. Again, when you're practicing, man, practice the lick. All right? Don't get frustrated. I know you get frustrated and you be one to go nuts, go crazy, but focus on the chop when you're shedding it, all right? Let's say you're doing a, a faster beat. Right? Or super fast lick. Paradiddles, man. <sighs> Get with the paradiddles. Peace out.